Okay, everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I really absolutely adore the Darcy's stamp sets and the Not Too Shabby Shop has a sale on these stamp sets going on right now. Make sure that you head over. I am going to leave a link in the description box below to the shop. I'm going to be using this really cute little set. This one is called Cool Bird. And I'm going to use these lawn fawn dies to create a panel for the front of my card. What I wanted to do was stamp out this really adorable little penguin here with a balloon and then create a birthday card with this set. So I'm going to stamp out these two images from the stamp set using some Memento Tuxedo Black ink and my Misty stamping tool. The Memento Tuxedo Black ink is Copic friendly and I am going to do some Copic coloring here on my project. So I'm just stamping these out on this Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And now I'm just going to do some really, really basic Copic coloring. I'm going to put a little bit of music on for you while you watch the coloring process. And then I will leave a time signature on the video here so you can see when the coloring is done. I'll see you back. So I've got my images all colored here and now I just want to take this fine line pen and I'm just going to draw a string from the balloon down into the penguin's little hand and down just down below the, the hand there a little bit or whatever the appendage is there of the penguin and so that it looks like this little guy is holding the balloon. I'm going to take some VersaFine Claire. Uh, in Nocturne and I'm going to stamp that out here or stamp the sentiment inside of the balloon and that says have an ice birthday 
and this uh, sentiment is made to fit exactly into that balloon. Now I'm just stamping out the little um, feet of the little penguin here, the little flippers, and I'm stamping that onto some uh, repositionable tape here and I'm just going to mask the little feet on the bottom of my little penguin with this masking tape. So uh, I'm just gonna uh, fussy cut that out here with my scissors and place that over top of my little penguins flippers and that will just protect that area from the uh, coloring that I'm gonna do on the bottom. So I'm just going to do some ink blending on the bottom of my card here. I'm gonna start off here with some pumice stone distress oxide ink. I'm using my amazing picket fence blending brushes here. I'm using one of the smaller ones because the area is quite small. And the beautiful thing about the picket fence brushes is they come in a, a variety of sizes, which really allows you to work in smaller or larger areas, whatever it is. Now I just wanted to create kind of like a really um, neat blend of colors here to create the impression of some snow and this is kind of like a little wintry scene that I'm creating here so I wanted to put some grays and some purples and some blues in here and you'll just see me working here with a bunch of different colors I'm using some shaded lilac and I'm using some broken china I'm also using a little bit of chipped sapphire and just blending these all back and forth I finish off I believe with a little bit of the pumice stone just to blend that gray all into the other colors that I used and actually I do think I went back in with the broken china just to make that blue a little more dominant because of the blues that are in the coloring that I used now there's the big reveal there so you can see how that um, distress ink blending looks on the bottom. I'm going to take my Nouveau glaze and I'm going to just put that over top of my balloon there to give that some dimension and make it look like it's actually um, well like a balloon and then I'm going to add a little bit of that crystal glaze to the beak and the flippers and now I'm going in with some Nouveau glitter accents and I just love this because it's super shiny and it just looks like a little bit of snow. I'm putting it on the earmuffs of my little penguin and a little bit on the top of the earmuffs as well so on the actual ears and then on that little bridge. I'm also just going to do a few little speckles of the snow in the little sky area to make it just look like there's snow falling. And I think I'm gonna go back after I'm finished here and add a little bit more of the glitter accents to the penguin's clothing and to the fur area. Now I'm going to be using some of the Lawn Fawn Sparkle cardstock in Pixie Dust. I love this cardstock, I think it's gorgeous. I just used a scallop, square scallop die from my stash. I think this one happens to be a Newton's Nook. But what I'm using for my card base is some uh, Gina K and it's called Soft Stone. So this is Gina K Soft Stone cardstock. I love this color of cardstock, it's a great card base. And you just saw my great big mama roll of 3M foam adhesive here. I'm gonna use that to pop up my card, front of my card panel here, or my card panel front. And I'm going to adhere that down to give that really nice dimension. And that is going to be it. Please make sure you check the description box below for the links for all of the products that I used in the video today. And also definitely make sure that you hop over to the Not Too Shabby Shop and check out all of the Darcy stamps that Jamie has in stock that are on a great sale. So this is a really great time to, to stock up on these awesome little stamps. Thanks so much for stopping by today, guys. Uh, I hope to see you again here on my channel. Bye-bye.